So these are the cookies. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa and I'm the Beat Vegan because I'm Vietnam vegan and if you recognize this hair and this outfit, it's because uh, I'm filming a video within a video, videoception. This video is going first and there's gonna be a vlog coming later, so you know. So we did a grocery haul. We spent a lot of money because normally I go and do my groceries on a Saturday, but ever since lockdown happened in Toronto, people have been coming from Toronto to my city and just like shopping and it's like, hey, that's the opposite of lockdown. I've been wanting to go grocery shopping on a weekday so that we see fewer people. As a result, we went on a Wednesday because today's Eddie's day off. And I mean, I could have gone by myself, but we got like a big snow. I don't have my snow tires on yet. So it's a little, a little wibbly wobbly. The snow was clear today. Eddie was off. All the stars aligned and I did groceries. Keep in mind, I am a food blogger. This is why I spend so much money on food. This is probably not a normal amount of money that a normal person spends on food. But again, I have a weird obsession with food, so let's get into it. Where did we go today? We went we went to Park Market and Refillery for soap, so that's one. And then we went to Whole Foods. Whole Foods. And then we went to Nations. And then we went to Sobeys. Now, I know what you're thinking. Lisa, weren't you just like, yelling about people coming outside from another city to go to another city. Yes, but again, because of the nature of my job, the things that I need are at different stores. So that's why I'm going to multiple places. Masked up, hand sanitized. Otherwise I don't go outside. Enough jibber jabber, let's go. Bag closest to me is one from Nations. So I bought some flower mushrooms. I use these for the base of pho, for bung ba, for soup basically. It adds a lot of umami flavor and it's a good time. I started bringing my grocery bags to the store because people seem a little bit more lax even though, you know, maybe we shouldn't be so lax. So this is uh, green onions you can't really see. And because these bags are mesh, when I put these in the fridge, they're gonna go kind of like limpy. So I think I'm gonna transfer them to a container so that they don't lose their moisture. So I'm gonna put all that produce stuff on the side. It does not go in the fridge quite yet. I will link these bags on my Amazon shop. I did buy these from Amazon. However, I have seen bags like these in places that are not Amazon, like Park Market and Refillery. So buy locally and buy not from Amazon if you can. Uh, this is cilantro, delicious for the good, good green herby goodness. This is parsley. Again, should I show you what this is? Do you need to see, do you, you know what parsley is, right? Ginger, also for soup. Mushrooms, I feel like I've been talking about this for so long. I feel like it's really only 10 recipes, so I should be done this by now, but like the amount of recipe testing that goes into the soup season cookbook or ebook or whatever uh, is kind of extensive, which is why I don't release that many recipes anymore because I'm just too intense. So anyway, this is for hot and sour soup that's coming. Carrots, also for hot and sour soup. A blowtorch <laughs> for fun. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's for cooking. Baby corn, bamboo shoots sesame oil. I'll insert the clip where I did the math on the sesame oil, but basically I saved half the money by buying a tin. Hello, editing Lisa here. The background of this audio clip has the butcher at uh, Nations just grinding away some bones. Not a great auditory experience, whether or not you're vegan. So you know what? This is future Lisa talking over past Lisa. So here I'm breaking down the difference between soybean blended toasted sesame oil. So it's like part soybean oil, part toasted sesame oil, which is fine, but I prefer pure sesame oil. And so it's a little bit more expensive. So this one bottle is $4.29 and this other jug is $22.99. If I were to compare the volume, the smaller bottle should be 40 something dollars, $42.90 or whatever, instead of the $22. So to save money, I've picked the tub. That is all that clip was supposed to be. I bought liquid maltose. There's a recipe I'm trying to experiment with that requires honey. This is not honey, but it is a liquid sweetener thing. So I thought this would be good. Like maltose. Tofu. This is post cleaning my fridge. So, I mean, it looks, like it's messy, but it's actually very clean and organized. So don't at me. The nature of my job requires me to have a lot of food in my fridge for experiments. That's just how it goes, okay? This bag is from Whole Foods and a lot of it has to go in the freezer. So, you know, I'm gonna dispatch Sir Edward to bring things down to the freezers. I'm gonna be working with this company. This video is not sponsored. 
the product is paid for because I'm working on a sponsored recipe from Holy Veggie. So these are the cauliflower crusts. I bought five products because I'm gonna be like experimenting with them for the sponsored post. But this is the buffalo cauliflower. Pretty excited to eat it, honestly. And then the others are for these gluten-free pizza crusts that are made of cauliflower. Holy Veggie makes a bunch that are vegan friendly. Two of the classic cheese pizza, one margarita pizza, and then one of just the cauliflower thing. So look forward to a recipe with these coming soon. I also bought these, well I didn't buy them, they are comped by the company. I got a coupon for these. They are gingerbread cookies that are vegan and gluten free. Sorry, they say winter spice cookies. Why would they just be gingerbread? Why would you say winter, why not say just gingerbread? Winter Spice Gingerbread Man, rich and soft vanilla mousse. Actually, you know what? I kinda wanna try it. Right, meow. They're very cute. Oh, okay. So I got a coupon, no obligation to post. I just, she just told me to try it. So I said I, I would. So these are the cookies. Um, I'm not gonna lie, it's not a very appealing situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. They do have gingerbread flavor. The texture of them, not so great. I don't hate the mousse though. This is kind of fun. Okay, I take it back. It tastes like soggy marshmallow. On a scale of one to 10, I would rate these like a four. They're edible, but I would not choose to eat them. Would you like to try it? It's a marshmallow. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's okay. I appreciate the effort that they went through to make this so allergen friendly, but it is not great. The packaging and the, the marketing is so, so cute though. And I like that it's aquafaba. If you have a lot of allergies, you can eat this and that's nice. There are other things that are allergen friendly that are better. Like, I feel like it's not sweet enough. The texture is not quite right. And like the mousse in between is like not super pleasant. So I had this conversation with the, the person at Park Market in Refillery. I cannot remember her name. Insert the name here. She said that she liked how honest I am about the Always Pan. A bunch of you guys have been asking me for a review on the Always Pan. I probably will film it at some point. I've just been having like a hard time like being on camera lately. Um, I do have a highlight of all like the issues that I've had with the Always Pan on my Instagram. So if you want to check out the like quasi review there, go for it. She said something that like kind of struck me. She said, I appreciate how honest you are. I don't know about you, but I typically don't follow people who aren't gonna be honest with me and I don't trust them and their opinion on the products that they use. Maybe I just hold everyone to a higher standard because that's how I operate. Like I don't work with brands unless I know I like the product and I like what they stand for or like I don't promote anything to you guys unless I know you're gonna like it or at least I like it, you know what I mean? It's frustrating to hear people say, oh, I appreciate that you're being so honest because it's like, I would hope that the bloggers that you follow are honest and if they're not honest, why are you following them? I'm glad that I have your trust, but like I'm sad that people have to like lie about products or whatever because they feel like they need to for brands or for whatever. And like ultimately I don't feel like that's helpful for anyone in the end. If you're lying about a brand and you don't like the brand, that doesn't help the brand and that doesn't help your brand because then people don't trust you. I understand that like tastes and stuff are subjective. So when it comes to like food and stuff like that, I wanted to like it cause it was cute and like the idea of it is like fun, but execution wise was not a fan. I don't have any like ill will towards the brand. I appreciate that they sent me the product to try. I liked the concept of the product, but I did not like the product. Yeah, take that as you will. I feel like a lot of brands are like more hesitant to work with people like me because I'm a lot more critical about that kind of stuff. But like, I would hope that a brand wants to work with someone who actually likes their stuff and believes in their stuff. This is for um, the Holy Veggie uh, sponsor post. I'm doing like a pizza board type thing, so. This is all the, the snacky things for the pizza board. So I got some sweet peppers. Eddie doesn't like pepper, so that's all gonna be me. And I I honestly only like peppers okay, but these ones are fun. These are kind of snacky and they're, they're good for dunking and they're really pretty, so and that's why I bought them. Mushrooms, also for the snack board thing. Coffee, I'm severely decaffeinated right now. 
I ran out of the coffee a while ago and I'm having, I had matcha today, but it's, it's not, it's not enough. Raspberry kefir, coffee creamer, a veggie salami for the snack board, tomatoes, cucumber, cucumbers go in the fridge, tomatoes go up here. I also have more pearl barley because we used up all the last one from the last haul grocery thing. I don't know, whatever. Uh, and I bought some soap. This is, oh, it's got a little, look, a little wet on the bottom. This is from Br Bridalwood Soaps. I needed a bar soap to specifically wash my makeup brushes. And I have, I have the products to make soap, but I just haven't gotten around to making it because I'm a little afraid of dealing with the lye. Even though I know how to deal with the lye, I just haven't. Nation! I bought some Yuba Skin. I like putting this in soup and I've seen people put this in like stir fries and stuff and that sounds fun. I actually had a couple people asking me for recipes using this, so um, we'll be experimenting. Also from Sobeys, apple cider. Product of Canada, I was like concerned. I was like, this better not be imported because I'll be upsetty spaghetti. Apple cider is delicious. Wood ear fungus. I like the, the shredded one because it's easier to work with because I'm lazy, um, but they sell them like whole. Uh, I'll insert a picture of what it looks like whole if you want to know what black ear fungus or wood ear fungus or black fungus is. It's common in a lot of Vietnamese cooking. My mom uses it in like every single dish growing up and it adds like a nice little like poppy crunch. If that makes any sense. It's like a squishy crunch. That sounds very unappealing, but it is great, I swear. <laughs> Tofu puffs. I have no specific plans for these other than I'm probably gonna make shitty ramen this week because that is what I eat whenever I'm feeling like stressed or I haven't made any food and Eddie's not home. Then I add frozen corn and peas and dumplings and then tofu. So that's what I do. What's in here? Just bags. Beans. White kidney beans, because I was running out. Mature cheddar cheese. There's oat fiber in here. Huh, cool. It says lactose free, but then I was like, um, this better be vegan. Cause there's like some of those brands, I think it's like this, there's like a soy brand that says that it's like lactose free, but it still has like whey in it. And I'm like, what are you doing? Uh, anyway, cheese. Uh, silk and tofu for the hot and sour soup. Simply salted Orville Red and Bacher popcorn. It's a little wasteful. I know I can make my own popcorn from the kernels. I do have the kernels, but sometimes I want a snack that is really cheap and easy and takes two minutes. And that's, that's that. Butter. I'm starting to run out of space. Oh, look at that, a whole pocket of space. I'm just gonna go back there. And I think that's all that needs to go in the fridge. I bought some French lentils, French green lentils. Granted, this bag was like $5 and I saw a bigger bag of lentils at Nations of the same lentils, just not organic um, for half the price. So that's a whoopsie. I just saw the lentils and they're so pretty. You know, I bought them. Raisins, I bought raisins for the raisin bread that I said I would be working on for sourdough stuff. And then I forgot to mention at Whole Foods, a bunch of people told me at Whole Foods there's vegan donuts. Et voila, vegan donuts. These ones are maple flavored. I'm very excited to eat them. I've heard they're very good. They look fried and delicious with the maple goodness. I'm kind of frustrated that they're sold in, in like a half dozen. Like why can't we just have like one or two? I don't need a box of them. And then lastly, Eddie saw this, which from first glance does not look vegan, but it says vegetable beef, five spice. And it's made with soy, water, vegetable oil, salt, MSG, sugar spices, disodium ribonucleotides, edible flavor. But it says vegetarian beef, so. And there's no cholesterol, so that further makes me feel like it's vegan friendly. Oh, what the They're individually packaged. Do you want to try one? I mean, not right now, I don't. Do you want to try it? Yeah, I do want to try it. Yeah. Oh, weird. Should it, should it be defeated? It's a jerky snack. Oh. On a scale of one time, it's like a six. It's all right. It tastes like pressed soy slash yuba skin with five spice. Not bad. Not crazy about the, uh, the packaging. I guess it's like a convenient little snack. You're like, ah, oh, I gotta go. Like like us today being like, ah, oh, I'm hungry. I hope you enjoyed this grocery haul. I think I spent, I definitely spent over $200. I spent $130 at Nations, $38 at Park Market and Refillery. And I don't know where the things are, but we bought like a peanut butter jar worth of like kitchen slash bathroom cleaner. And then we bought a milk jar kitchen cleaner slash bathroom cleaner. Eddie's shampoo. Um, he uses Onika, Oneka shampoo. I use a solid shampoo. So this is all for Edward. Bar of soap. So $38 plus 
135 plus $17 at Whole Foods plus $20 for the stuff, some of that stuff. And how much do you pay? I think like $25. Whatever all that together is. I used all, all my math powers earlier today, so. Yeah, calculating this so I can <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's that's where all my math was used. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a like, subscribe for the chaotic energy slash also sometimes calming energy because you know, I'm a multifaceted person. And subscribe for more. If you wanna see more chaotic content, uh, I'll link some videos in the corner as well as down below, mostly grocery hauls, some vlogs, some recipe videos. And as always, if you're looking for any of these recipes that I'm mentioning, unless they're in the soup season ebook that I'm working on, which only patrons will see until it is complete and then you can buy it. All my recipes live on theveganvegan.com. That's the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.